And when I went back inside the house to see what was going on, I ended up going into the living room and I saw this girl was making out with her stepdad. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to another really embarrassing, but I gotta say crazy story. Now, I wanna say this was like six years ago and I remember basically like around six years ago, I was in my major party phase. Meaning that like, you know, if I had any opportunity to go out and party, have a good time and hang out with friends, I would take that in a heartbeat. So I remember one time when I was online playing games with the boys, out of nowhere, one of my my friends ends up joining the call saying yo bubba bro i was just wondering do you want to like maybe go to a party i'm going to this weekend it's really fun and trust me bro there's like a lot of girls going uh i mean sure i'm down i don't see why not okay cool i'll send you the address and when he sent me the address he sent me the address to a house that i actually kind of recognized but i didn't know why i think there was some rumor about that house but honestly i really didn't think much of it other than there was a party gonna be there and why not just go so a couple days go by and i remember i got ready with me and my friends and we all basically got dressed up and we all ended up going inside my car and driving over to this party but as we were driving over i remember i decided to make the executive decision to go and basically get some food before we went to this party for one of two reasons one i have better riz when i have a full stomach and two i usually like to show up to parties like an hour late that way like when we pull up to the party if it's not bumping then we know we don't have to enter and we can just leave but as me and my friends were sitting down eating talking about the game plan of how we're gonna absolutely just crash this party out of nowhere like five girls end up walking into the restaurant that we were eating at and they were like dressed up pretty nicely and we end up looking at them and they ended up sitting right across from us and i remember they were staring at us and we were staring at them and it became this like really awkward situation where we didn't know what was going on so then i remember i looked over at them and i'm like hey where are you guys going tonight oh uh we're going to this party that's like kind of near here i don't know our friends just invited us to it oh wait is it the party at and i ended up telling her the address and she instantly recognized it and she was shocked she was like saying how like she was worried that no like cute guys were gonna be there and stuff so in a way she was kind of complimenting me and the boys but then out of nowhere i remember we ended up combining our tables together and we started basically having our own little get together i guess we didn't know these girls it was kind of like having like a giant like date night i remember after we finished eating me and the boys we ended up going back to our cars and we actually ended up taking some of the girls with us so we could drive them to the party since we were all headed towards the same destination and i remember there was one girl that ended up getting inside my car and she ended up sitting in my passenger seat and she looked over at me and she just started flirting with me and talking to me the whole time as like two of the boys were in the back seat and it was super funny and then finally when we got to the party i remember i'm not gonna lie the whole time i just ended up talking to this girl because i'm not gonna say i fell in love but i was very interested in this girl more than the other girls at the party so i want to say like 20 minutes in i remember i just looked at her and i'm like straight up hey i think you're great and all but do you want to like maybe just get out of here like i don't see a point of being here anymore she ends up smiling at me and saying sure and me and her we ended up going for a late night drive in my car and we totally just ditched the party i know it sounds kind of crazy but honestly like my whole reason for going to the party was to meet girls so since i met a girl might as well just hang out with her and see where it goes so i remember i end up driving with this girl and basically me and her we start driving around and she starts telling me about like you know her whole future and stuff and then she ended up kind of trauma dumping me on like how her parents got divorced like years ago and now she has like a new stepdad that like she likes a lot but doesn't at the same time but every time she would talk about her stepdad i'm not gonna lie to you she would kind of talk about her stepdad as if like she was like dating him which is really cringe to say but like she would say things like oh like i remember me and my dad we we're like in the car like debating what to eat for dinner and like he was always like not giving me a proper answer i know that doesn't seem much but in my mind like she had more to say about her stepdad than her actual love life because i did try to ask her about you know if she was seeing anyone or anything just so i you know have like a safe space to go into if i end up trying to date this girl but honestly she would never give me a straight answer other than talking about her own stepdad so i remember i kind of took that as like a sign of like hey this girl's a red flag maybe it's not the best to see her but at the same time she was actually really hot so i didn't really know what to do i was really stuck in a really hard position Position. Well, not that kind of position, but you know what I mean. Going on with the story, I remember when I finally drove her home, I ended up basically getting out of my car and opening the car door for her like any gentleman should. And then I ended up walking up with her to her front door. When we got to her front door, I remember me and her, we were just kind of like talking for a bit. And I guess we were kind of getting a little bit too loud until out of nowhere, she ends up coming in close to me and me and her, we actually ended up kissing. She ended up kissing me. And I remember I was like, like kind of turning red because I was like, oh, like, you know, like, damn, like I just, you know, pulled this girl today. And then out of nowhere, I remember I ended up seeing the front door open and this guy that like looks nothing like this girl by the way ends up opening the door saying honey get inside what are you doing out here and who are you oh uh sorry i was just with your daughter uh we were just hanging out we went to the same party uh i ended up just dropping off home okay well thank you young man but you can leave now uh, okay cool and i basically ended up walking to my car and basically getting away i don't know why this guy was so upset at me but like i get it like you know like you're not young anymore you can't pull girls but like dude 
You don't gotta take it out on me, I. Right? And as I'm just thinking what in the world just happened, I ended up looking at her front door to see what's happening next. And out of nowhere, I remember before this girl ended up entering her house, this guy ended up going up in front of her and also kissing her as well. At this point, I was in shock. I'm like, wait, was that her boyfriend or was that her dad? Because when I was there, he sounded like a dad. But when I'm not there, he looks like a boyfriend. So at this point, I thought I was confused and I thought I was seeing things. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I did not expect to see that at all. So on my way driving home, I remember I'm just thinking to myself, like, what is happening? Do I turn around and like question her? Like, what is going on? And then when I finally got home, I remember I ended up basically getting undressed and I laid down on my bed, still confused on what happened. And then out of nowhere, I get a phone call. My phone starts ringing and I ended up walking up to my phone and answering it. And when I answered it, I remember I heard, hey, Bubba, it's me. Oh, hey, like what's going on? Oh, I just wanted to apologize for like my stepdad. He was being really weird. Oh, okay. No, it's all good. So like, what's up? Oh, well, like I got your number from one of your friends and I was just wondering, do, like, do you want to like maybe like try again and go out like later? You mean like tomorrow? Uh, yeah, sure. Tomorrow you want to come over to my place maybe? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Is your stepdad going to be like weird about it? Uh, no, he'll be fine. Don't worry. I talked to him today. He's totally okay with it. Um, okay, sure. I'll show up tomorrow, I guess. All right. See you tomorrow. Now this moment I was happy, but at the same time, really confused because I was happy that I got a date with this girl again because the girl was absolutely magnificent. But the thing I was confused about was that if her stepdad was the one at the front door, then why did I catch them kissing as I was in my car? And what ended up happening next, I gotta say, and I promise you guys, it gets a lot more bizarre. Because when I woke up the next morning, I remember I was super weirded out and just so confused about the whole thing still. And I remember when I went to go get a cup of coffee, my phone starts ringing again. My phone rings over and over and I ended up picking up the phone and I answered it. And when I answered it, it was one of my buddies saying, yo, Bubba, bro, I didn't see you last night. Like, what happened to you? People say you ran off with a girl. Uh, yeah, dude, I ended up going to see this girl. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot happened. I'm really confused about it all. Yeah, bro, I was talking to one of the girls in that group and like apparently one of them wanted your number. Like, I don't know what's going on, but apparently it was like the weird one in the group. Wait, what do you mean the weird one? Oh, well, like, I don't know. Apparently it's like a rumor about her and like her stepdad. I don't really know, bro, but it's probably like baloney anyway since she likes you. Uh, yeah, maybe it's baloney. I don't know. Uh, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna be seeing her today, so I'll tell you what's up later. All right, bro, have fun tonight. And he hung up the phone. Now, at this point, I was really just lost with the fact that apparently her friends also think that her and her stepdad are like up to like some like weird stuff. But honestly, I decided to put it all aside and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go to this house. I'm gonna hang out with her. We're gonna see what's going on. Because at the end of the day, I was still a player, hate the player, hate the game. I'm still gonna go for it, right? So I ended up basically getting my car hours later and I drive down to her place. And when I got to her place, finally, I parked my car and I started heading for the front door. And when I got to the front door, I am not joking. Instantly, I see this girl open the door and I walk up to her to say, hey, look, what's going on? And I see her stepdad right then in there staring at me saying, hey, welcome to the house. My daughter was telling me that you were coming over. And at this point, I didn't know what to do, but basically me and her and her stepdad, we ended up basically going into the living room. We all sat down and her stepdad apparently said that he had to like go out to like go get some stuff done. So he ended up leaving the place. And I'm not joking, right as he leaves, out of nowhere, this girl ends up coming on to me. And well, I'm not gonna lie to you. We ended up doing the devil's tango right in the living room where her stepdad was just at. It was super like right away and super quick. And I remember I was like, kind of like weirded out. But at the same time, I wasn't surprised as well. I don't know. It was, it was super out of nowhere. Okay. This came totally out of left field. But then I remember as me and her were doing the devil's tango. I don't know why, but I felt like I was being watched the whole time. I felt like someone was watching me or something was happening and I didn't like it. So I remember I stopped midway through and I'm like, yo, like I'm actually like not in the mood right now. Can we just like watch a movie? And I remember right as I say, watch a movie, her stepdad ends up walking into the room, seeing me and his stepdaughter just on the couch with nothing on. And he looks at both of us saying, oh, I see you guys are having a good time, eh? And he ends up going upstairs to his bedroom. Now, at this point, I was super confused and I'm like, wait, so he's not upset? Cause the other day, right when I just took you out, he was mad. But but now that he sees me literally not wearing anything with you, he's totally cool with it. Like what in the world's going on here? And that's when I get super confused about everything. And I'm just like, you know, trying to like process all of it at the moment. And that's when she says, oh, like, just don't worry about my stepdad. He's totally usually cool with it. He's just having a weird day. I I'll solve it later. Um, okay, cool. Well, you know what? I got to head home anyways. I got things to do, but maybe we'll talk later. Oh, like you don't want to finish the movie. No, I'm, I'm good. Trust me. I, I, I got stuff to do. And I get up and I start leaving, but right away, right as I left the front door, I realized that I forgot my jacket on the couch. So I decided to go back for it. And I basically kind of ended up sneaking into the house somewhat because the door was still open. And as I walk right into the living room, I am not joking with you guys. I end up looking at the couch and I saw it was her and her step.
stepdad making out and i'm like in shock i look at both of them and her stepdad looks at me and says oh oh why did you come back in here i forgot my jacket i slowly reach for my jacket and grab it and i sprint out the front door trying to pretend i did not see anything when clearly i saw everything that was going on and i remember as i start walking to my car once i leave the front door i see this girl running right behind me saying bubba wait before you leave i don't want you to tell any of my friends what happened okay like please can we keep this between us like please i'll do anything i look at this girl and i'm like yeah like yo it's all cool like i'm not gonna say anything just like i don't know y'all need to get checked out for real bro like does your mom know you're doing that bubba it's not that big of a deal okay like mind your own business and she ends up going back into the house acting like nothing happened like i'm gonna be for real with you guys like i don't know what else to do or what else to say but i basically kept on to that secret well until today so my opinion just fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys